What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Modes Film Session, and today we're going to be talking about Kendrick Green. Now, we know at Illinois he played predominantly guard, but he does have a couple of games on tape where he started at center, and obviously that's going to be the position that he's going to be switching to with the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. So, I'm going to break down a couple of his plays at center just to see what he is capable of at that spot. So, without further ado... So Mr. Kendrick right there, the big guy up in the middle. We'll play this thing and then we'll break it down. All righty. So once this play starts off, man, the first thing we got to say that I don't ever take for granted based on the past two years is it's a good snap. I mean, as simple as that is, out of the shotgun, a really good snap. And then from there, hand placement. All right, so you see the ball snap, hands get up fast. That's the first thing. Then from there, I love that extension we just saw. All right, let me rewind it back just a tad bit for you. But right here, you're going to see him leverage his extension, get separation. But then from there, he keeps going. He doesn't stop, finishes his block, ultimately gives his quarterback that extra little angle to create a little space back there uh, as he's running out here escaping the pocket. But as a whole, I love how he controls this, uh, this D lineman. Good snap, like I said. And then from there, just good finish on this thing. Good hand placement, doesn't hold. Hot feet. Let's go at the end, man. As a whole, though, really good snap right here. And like I said, this is against Penn State. Figured it would be good to see them against Penn State because typically Penn State has good athletes. And that's ultimately what I'm trying to see right here. But as a whole, though, Good snap for Kendrick right here. Shotgun snap, hand placement, nice finish. Ultimately prevents a sack right here as well, man. Because this point right here, if he stops blocking, this guy makes this play. If he stops blocking right here, this guy could potentially retrace and make this play. But as a whole, finishes him. Hands up. Let him know he ain't doing anything wrong. Quarterback's able to pick up a first down on a possession down. But that right there is a really good snap and play as a whole by Kendrick at the center position. All right, now this next play we're going to see from Kendrick just shows him having to play in space, be an athlete, and just to see what he looks like versus some of these smaller defenders. So once again, I'm circling for you. That's him at the center position. Then from there, we'll break this thing down, all right? And once again, another shotgun snap, right? Good snap. All righty. So... Once again, first off, like I said, we don't take this for granted. Good snap. All right. Boom. Ball of the quarterback's hands. He's good to go. Head up. Hands high. Let's rock. Now, this is a screenplay. So with this screenplay, he's ultimately, he doesn't have a lot of work early on. But his main person that he's going to be tracking is this guy right here, the off-ball linebacker. All right. So once he snaps this ball. And he plays the little, you know, screen game of give ground, give ground. Now he has to be out here in space. This is him right here. So let's see. How does he match up with this guy? Now, obviously, this is a smaller defender, faster defender. Could potentially get over top. That would be the, uh, if he gets over top, that would be a big, you know, win for the defense. Because ultimately, you're trying to beat these blocks, right? You want to force this ball back inside to the cavalry. And as an old lineman, you want to make sure that you don't allow this defender to get over top. So you can just see you know, from both sides, what their responsibilities are. So now as the play is going, what I like here is he accelerates, right? He's not thinking about it. He understands that if I slow down and allow this guy to be a space player, he's going to make me look bad. But ultimately, he starts the action. He brings the fight to this linebacker right here and gets a good initial pop. Now, I will say this, man, 12 held his own here. But I like the fact that right here, when you're looking at this in space, man, he closes that space in a hurry he's not thinking about it not second guessing and i just like i said i love the mentality right here now if we're going to coach up the technique which we could do helmet placement he's on the back side of this guy's helmet which is ultimately why 12 is still able to linger forward now granted 12 isn't going to be involved in the play just because of the sheer force of the blow and kendrick ultimately just having a better finish on it but if his helmet is placed on this side okay you see where this uh i think this is the number right here but ultimately, if his helmet is on this side of his helmet, then this guy doesn't even make it outside of the hash right here. But because of the helmet placement, those are the little details. That's ultimately why he's able to, number one, same foot, same shoulder, more power. 
get a pop on him. But number two, he's able to just linger over, even though 12 hasn't really, you know, gained any more ground. Uh, and from a, a north and south standpoint, he's still able to move laterally just because the helmet placement. But as a whole, though, really good play by Kendrick, man. Just showing, like I said, the versatility. He can snap, can get out there in space versus, uh, excuse me, versus a smaller defender. Off-ball linebacker right here. But really good work. Bing. All right, now this last play from Kendrick is just going to simply be showing him execute an assignment but at the same time show off some of his strength as well so um <clears throat> here he is right here at the center position once again and on this particular play is just a qb draw all right so we'll see what i'm talking about as we play this play in full speed all righty so now the technique of the qb draw for uh, kendrick right here he understands that he's going to have one of these two interior D linemen. But on this particular play, this down, uh, this D tackle on the left side of him, right, is going to be crossing his face. So his job is to move this guy out the running lane because he knows that this quarterback wants to hit this ball downhill, all right? And he can't hit it downhill if this guy or this guy is still sitting in that window, okay? So once this play starts... Once again, out the gun, good snap, right? We said we do not take it for granted, all right? But now you see, I think it's 27. He's starting to cross the, uh, he's starting to cross Kendrick's face here. So Kendrick, what I love right here, you see this right arm, watch the strength on it. This guy's sitting on the hash right now. Takes him, moves him out the way, keeps using his momentum with him, but just understands that, hey, I can't allow this guy to stop here. I have to move this guy out the running lane because it's the QB, remember what I said, right? QB wants to hit this ball, down here if that guy was still sitting here that's a that's a dead play but ultimately kendrick takes him like i said use that back arm that right arm and just good job moving him out the way right there man and ultimately i mean it does <laughs> it allows the quarterback to have that extra breathing room to get up out of there now this is the player right here that makes the play i mean he's just more physical at the point of attack right here but as a whole man kendrick did a really good job of moving 27 just enough out that space to clear it up for the quarterback to at least have an opportunity on this run right here. But like I said, man, good job just understanding the assignment. Different techniques. We've seen him in space. We've seen him in a traditional pass blocking set. Now we're seeing him do a draw where you happen to use some of your strength, but still give ground at the beginning of this day, man. So as a whole, like I said, really good work by him. So yeah, I like Kendrick game a lot. I think that he's definitely going to um, take some strides and improve that offensive line from an interior part of it, man, from that center position. But as a whole, you know how we do this thing, man. I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think of uh, Kendrick Green, man, if you're excited about him playing center or if you think he's better suited as a guard. Let me know that as well. But either way, I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.